How do small lab units operate in containment and with highly active products? In the last session, we talked about dispensing isolators. With small lab equipment, it may not be practical to control dust generation at the interfaces because there may not be such small interfaces available. And this is why such equipment is often used in isolators and the wrap systems. For the mini glad and lab units with batch sizes of a few 100 gram, there are containment stations available. Containment stations are wrap systems. These are stations where inside a unidirectional flow is maintained, a laminar flow. The flow reaches a speed of 0.4 meters per second and is strong enough to catch the dust that has been stirred up inside the isolator or the wrap system and fed into the filter. However, it is so slow that no turbulence is created that would displace the dust to the outside or to the operator. These wrap systems can be run with different protection mechanisms. Protection is achieved based on the airflow only, and an OB4 can be achieved here. This is the so-called OCS system. A sliding protective screen with gloves can be placed in front of the operator. The operator has an additional physical barrier in front of him, and OEB4 and even OEB5 can be achieved here. This is the OCS plus system. Finally, between the operator and the inside of the wraps is a large screen with gloves through which the operator can operate the machine similar to an isolator. An OEB better than five can be achieved here. This is the so-called CCS system. Depending on the dustiness of the product, it makes sense to use one or the other variant of those. All variants can be converted into each other, so you don't have to decide from the very beginning how to act. The principle of these stations is to be able to run different processes in the same wrap system by means of mobile trolleys. One or two of these stations can be connected to each other, and so it is possible to run all lab processes in full containment, from powder weighing to tablet coating. It starts with powder weighing on laboratory scales. Next is blending and sieving with the CML and the GS sieve. We move to the wet granulation process and the TMG. Over the fluid bed drying process in the mini glut or mini glut, to tableting, and finally to the coating process in the tablet coater GC1. All in the same containment station with different processes on different trolleys. In principle, these processes can also be run in isolators, but this requires a different budget. Wrap systems differ from isolators in that wrap systems are open. Often they do not have any paints and protect the, to protect the operator, and if the paints go over the entire front, these systems are still open. Only the laminar flow inside provides protection. However, there's also a slight negative pressure inside the wrap system, which ensures that there is always a flow of room air away from the operator towards the wrap system. The operator is thus effectively protected. If the lab equipment is installed in, the, in an isolator, this protection is achieved by a negative pressure in the isolator and additionally by the hermetically sealed glass front in front of the operator. The greater protection in the isolator comes at the price of less flexibility. On open systems, you have greater mobility in front of the machines, which is sometimes helpful. That's it for today. I would like you to take home that small OSD lab units with a batch size of a few hundred grams can be run in open sub, uh, wrap systems 
all enclosed isolators and that here the operator can be if effectively protected down to well below less than one microgram per meter cube dust concentration. These units can be equipped with interchangeable trolleys so it, that you can purchase only one wrap system but different process machines on different trolleys which can be run consecutively in the same wraps. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me at my following email address, focusing.containment at glad.com. I look forward to seeing you next week. Stay healthy and stay tuned.